Hi there, Phil Mofroge here, and today I'm going to talk to you about uh, developing an anchor in the sound, body connection, and using your own unique voice compared to uh, imitating stylistic qualities, the pros and cons of each, okay? Because there are pros and cons of doing, of imitating uh, artists and developing your style and artistry. So let's talk about that now. So I received this video today through my free vocal assessment. You know, people, you can get this if you sign up to my mailing list. The link's down below. Go to growthevoice.com, check it out. So let's have a look at it. The silver lining to this silver screen. Set a fire to the fire of ski. Mm. Now, first of all, I notice you're a big guy and you got this really thin voice coming out. It's not your voice. I can tell right what right away that's not your voice. Now, I know from listening to you that one of your big influences is Michael Jackson because I Michael Jackson's a huge influence on me. So what I want to talk to you today about, though, is um, you're not accessing your real voice, all right? You're, you're, you're singing from like here up, okay? And what it is, is it's not a very healthy way to sing long term, okay? Lots of people will say things like, oh, you know, if it's lighter, then it's safer. And, you know, singing loud is dangerous and things. It's not true. Singing light can be dangerous and singing heavy can be dangerous. Singing any way can be dangerous if it's not done correctly. Now, being able to back off the voice and sing thin is something that occurs after you've built up a big sound first and then you strip it down. So, um, so I'd like you to kind of imagine, uh, you know, a sculptor and he starts off with this big lump of clay. It's really raw, it's huge, it's heavy, it's unrefined. And then he slowly carves it down and strips it down into this nice, you know, thin, slender design. Okay, so he's hacking away at the inessentials, as Bruce Lee would say. So when you sing thin, it still has to come down low in the belly, in, 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 from the, su the support mechanism. That way the larynx can be free and rested. That way the throat can be relaxed and open up. And the best way to develop that is to start off with a bigger sound because the sensation of support and the pull against the larynx, it, it, what I call like an anchor, is more, the sensation is more pronounced, it's easier to feel it, and it needs that kind of resistance to develop it. So I'm gonna show you the O vowel and why it's so important. The O vowel is a deep vowel that taps right down into your stomach, okay? Really low. And I use this vowel to develop support and body connection, okay? I call it body connection because you wanna sing with your whole body because your whole body is the instrument. You don't just want to sing with your throat, okay? Or you sing right up here. And that's what you're currently doing. So you want to learn how to breathe properly. And then you got to learn how to support properly and create tension. And then here's an all vowel. This is what I get people to do. We don't start too low with this. We do this more in the upper middle part of the chest range where you can feel a pull in the voice. I don't mean a pull in an unhealthy way. I mean a pull that starts down in the belly. And it goes kind of like this. So what I do is I bend down and I go, exhale. I exhale all my air because it makes me um, unable to blow excessive air and, and hurt myself. It also taps me into a more pronounced sensation of support. So I'm going to cut, take it up. Now, notice what I'm not doing. I'm not doing this. Most people who haven't learned how to sing down low will start doing that. They'll start going, because what happens is they don't like the feeling of going down low or they just can't do it. And so they look for space horizontally. And I want you to not do that. Okay? So you're going to go like this. Even if you have to do this, oh, and you just go as high as you can before it strains, you just come back down. Exhale. Oh, 
look, can you hear how it's ringing from the top of my head? So I'm not going, oh, I'm not doing that. If that starts to happen, you've got to really pay attention to keeping the all vowel and keeping the tension down the lower belly, not up in the throat, and then going back down the scale if it's too high. So we take it down. Another one you can do if you find the odd a bit too difficult because you feel like you're blowing air or something, even if you're exhaling, you can put an N in front of it like this. No, 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 like that. The N will help you get more of that clean, crisp attack on the note, which will start to develop that ping in the sound where you can hear it coming. No, you can hear it ringing from my head my skull, that's what the N will help you develop. It'll help you develop good chord closure and resonance. So that's kind of like an exercise I take singers through who, who would tend to be singing up here like this to develop body connection. And then what you do, then what you need to do there is learn how to take your other vowels and tap into that oh feeling in the vowel. So let's take an E. So an E, I'll go E. And if you check out my other video on singing E and U, I'll put it up here, you'll notice in that video, I was smiling and going E to L like this. E. That's to work on something different, okay? In this case, when we're trying to develop body connection, we want to take that E to U. Uh. E. Because it taps into more of a, a vertical uh, pull in the sound. It's like you're pulling something. E but I don't go, e I don't jam the larynx. This is not pulling down the larynx. This, this whole thing that I'm showing you here to get this deep sound is not about pulling the larynx down because that will pull apart the vocal cords and you will lose resonance, you'll lose strength in the sound. This is about keeping it in a rested position and using the vowel itself to tap into the, the depth in the sound. It's not about dampening larynxes or anything like that, okay? So we keep it e I'm not going e I'm not I'm not jamming my larynx down. That will just prevent you from singing higher. Okay, and it'll prevent you from getting that nice ring in the sound. It's not to say that low larynx exercises don't have a place. They definitely do. But not but that's not what we're doing here. Another vowel, like the R, ah, I need to tap into the same thing. Ah, I know this sounds really operatic, but it's a phase. Okay, you need to work a phase of developing body connection. Then later on you can brighten it. Ah, it's a thinner sound, but it still has the thick undertone in it, okay? Chiaroscuro. You take this nice, bright, ringing sound and then, and then have depth and warmth in it, okay? It's a combination, yin and yang. Bright, dark, uh, thin, heavy, uh, tall, deep, you know, you know what I'm saying? So we're looking for these kind of qualities, and that's what gives us a rich kind of quality to our voice, rather than a very trebly and a really woofy we want to combine both and find a balance now I want to mention style I really like that you are you know imitating and learning and picking up traits from your favorite artists however at this point what's happened is that it's affecting your voice in a negative way so I'm not a vocal coach that you know just says never you know never imitate or whatever I think there is excellent lessons to learn from imitating but we also have to uh, explore our own voice at the same time so that we don't develop imbalances. Because at the moment, you do have an imbalance. So, um, you know, so if you'd like to know more about uh, imitating singers and styles, I think I've got a few videos on that. I'll see if I can link them up here. If I don't, you won't see a link and uh, maybe I'll just have to create one. Just, you know, if you're interested, just leave a comment down below and uh, if you want me to explore that. Uh, I hope this video helps you. There's, you know, learning all this stuff 
individual to your voice requires step-by-step training, either lessons with me or my singing program details how to build up all these qualities step-by-step in a very easy to understand um, uh, structure. I hope you found this video insightful and helpful in some way. Leave your comments, questions down below. I'll respond to them, I'll read them. So thank you for watching, take care and good singing to you. See you next time.